Let's go places. Do you know how to spot fake luxury clothing? Well, tonight, a high-tech way to track the real thing. Uh, and I wouldn't know how. So this is a really cool technique that's being developed on Long Island. I would news reporter Kristen Thorne tweeted this photo of herself today, showing off this new sci-fi technology. Now she shows us how it works. That luxury jacket, dress, or shirt you bought, how do you really know it's authentic? At second time around in Huntington, Long Island, they're trained to have a good eye. We look at things like zippers, stitching. But now there's an even more high-tech way for some luxury designers to make sure their clothing made overseas isn't counterfeit. They're working with Applied DNA Sciences in Stony Brook. The company uses plant DNA to mark products, so even designers know they're authentic down to every tiny material fiber. Each company has a unique code that, or a sequence, a DNA sequence that would be created for them. We're just completing the marking of 50 million kilograms of cotton fiber in Southern California. It's estimated that the world counterfeit economy this year alone will grow some $1.7 trillion. And it's not just luxury handbags and shoes, but also the microchips and military weapons used by the Department of Defense. There are some estimates that the DOD inventory of counterfeit materials uh, could be as high as 30 percent. Applied DNA Sciences works with the Defense Department marking microchips with the same plant-based DNA so intelligence officials know they're getting an original product from overseas and not one that's been tampered with. Imagine if a missile is launched and it has been programmed maliciously. And then there's this. So is there plant DNA on? You're covered in plant DNA that's a unique mark to this very store. It's called Smoke Cloak and is widely used in Europe. When activated, it covers burglars and bank robbers in applied DNA's harmless plant DNA fog. The DNA stays on skin for days and weapons and stolen goods for years. Yes, it's amazing what a little plant DNA can do. In Stony Brook, Long Island, Kristen Thorne, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.